All right, so now we're gonna get to uh, hand fighting from the back and then we'll get to some uh, games. So today when we're drilling, guys, uh, there's a couple big things. When I have the bat, I should usually, in most cases, I should be protecting my, my choking hand, meaning my bottom hand should be covering my top hand. Does this make sense, guys? This is the top hand, why? Because it's on top. It's the bottom hand, why? Because it's clearly on bottom, right? My top hand is gonna be my choking hand. I clearly, for the most part, can't choke with the bottom hand with a couple exceptions, okay? Today, we're gonna go ahead and fall to the bottom hand side, all right? When I'm here, guys, I'm trying to get an angle, all right? Almost think of it as a, like an anchor, okay? When my legs are down like this, it kind of gives my partner a lot of space to throw his leg over top of my leg and start to escape his hips, okay? So when I start to cut off this circuit right here, now it's not really possible for my partner to jump his legs over top of mine. Is this clear, guys? All right, so when we're fighting and we get our guy to the side, we don't want to just keep our feet here. We want to start to get some type of anchor, whether it's with a body lock or whether we just go foot to foot, okay? Now, guys, uh, when we're hand fighting, naturally our partner's gonna take both of their hands and try to attach it to my hand, right? My choking hand, you see? He's a, he's a good partner, so he did it right. Now, why does he attack my choking hand instead of my bottom hand? Well, it's quite obvious, right? If he can just grab this hand, I'm just gonna choke him, okay? So he grabs my top hand, so what? I can't do, I can't choke him. All right, my first objective is to get rid of his primary defensive hand. My partner's primary defensive hand is gonna be the bottom hand. This is the strongest one, all right? It's this one, okay? This hand, honestly, isn't quite that strong at the point uh, where I get rid of the bottom hand. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain why, but it just is what it is. So we're gonna start with our partner having two hands on our choking hand. My first goal is to get rid of the primary defensive hand. That's this hand. We can do this a ton of different ways, but what I like to do is I'll just literally open it up, push my hand down, and then I'll grab and split the hands. Now, I don't want my partner's hand away from his body because then he can roll his wrist out. So just roll your wrist out. This is no good. I want to attach his hand to his body so now if he tries to roll his wrist out, it's going to be quite difficult. From here, I'm going to start to walk my hand to his neck. Okay, now my partner is going to take his hand that's free and he's going to go ahead and grab my hand again. Again, the guy's not just going to let me choke him, okay? From here, we're going to kind of just work with a little dilemma. As he starts to pull the hand down, I'm going to use that momentum to bring his hand down and I'm going to do just a quick uh, change up. Both of his hands are down, so now I can change up and then I'll start to step my foot over and I take my toes through and up first, okay? So I'm not just sticking my hand here, I'm bringing my toes through and then I'm gonna cross my feet. Now what do I have? I have two hands versus one. As I go to choke, my partner's gonna defend with the, his only hand, right? He can't bring up the other hand. As he defends, he has to pull down, right? Boom, we're using that momentum the same to go ahead and grab that hand again and attach it to our partner's body. Now we have what we call just the, the one to none dilemma, right? I have one hand to no hands, okay? Both of his hands are out of the equation. Now we just go ahead, keep our head to head, walk it slowly, and go ahead and finish our choke, all right? So again, I know it's a little bit complicated, but we'll work on it for a while so it makes sense. So we start, we're always protecting our top hand, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my bottom hand side, all right? As I go to my bottom hand side, I'm trying to close the loop here so he can't jump his hips in. Look how I did it. I came over, you can obviously go body triangle too. I can't because I'm fat, but uh, if you're not, you can. I close the loop here. My first job is he's gonna get two hands on my choking hand. First, I'm gonna clear the primary defensive hand, which is the bottom hand, all right? From here, as I go to choke, he's gonna go ahead and try to grab my hand, and he's gonna pull. I'm gonna use the momentum from that pull to do a quick change off here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, throw my toes in, and then I'm gonna cross my feet. Notice I'm crossing my feet above my partner's hips so he can't really ankle lock me. Again, now we have two hands versus one. This is good for me. As I go to choke, my partner's gonna use his last resort, and he's gonna basically give me that as he pulls down, again, as he pulls the fin, I'm using that momentum, okay? So as he pulls the fin, I use the momentum, I grab and I stick his hand to his body. 
the further away his hand is from his body, the more he can roll his wrist out, right, and get away. We have that little space here. We want to close that off with like the mass of his body. So as he tries to roll out, he's really, really weak here. As far as when we do the rear naked choke, I like to, I don't know what to call it, I like to make this little grip here, and then I'll start at the top of my partner's chin, and then I'll just walk it down, and I'll use my head to start to turn my partner, tar, partner's head away. As I get here, I'm gonna cover my hand with my chin, and then we can press down and in with our, uh, with our elbow to go ahead and finish the choke. Last time, I'm get to it. I'm in here. I go to the side and I close off the loop. My partner is uh, defending, so I'm gonna put my hand down, grab. As I walk, he starts to defend. Both of his hands are down now. I do a quick switch off and I throw my foot through and cross. As I go to choke, my partner is naturally gonna go ahead and defend with his primary defensive hand. I bring it down and I close the loop, hand to the body. My head is staying close. I'm gonna take my hand in, walk, walk, walk put my chin over my hand, and then my elbow's gonna go down, and then I'm gonna turn. <laughs> All right, you guys got it? Play with it on three. One, two, three. Before we get back to the video, guys, if you're enjoying this video and you wanna support me and you wanna learn more, you can click the link above, it's gonna pop up, or go to brandonreed3x.com slash store to find any of my takedown for BJJ instructionals. You can also go to brandonreed3x.com slash email to join my daily email list where I give tips and tricks about wrestling, jujitsu, and kind of just do a, a daily journal so I can share with you guys like what's going through my mind. Anyways guys, let's get back to the video. So again, I'm protecting my top hand, right? If you have your top hand uh, covering your bottom hand, it's no good. You're just gonna peel it away. And there's no way I'm gonna get the choke. Or I mean, there's, it's gonna be harder. I'm covering my top and then I'm closing it off. It's really important that I get my legs around. I don't have the body triangle but I just get them around because again, if I stay here, guys are just gonna clear my legs, okay? So I wanna close the circuit. Before I go for the choke, I wanna close the, the, the circuit, right? So I close the circuit, I can go foot to foot here, all right? And yes, now the first thing that I'm isolating is uh, the primary defensive hand, which is the bottom hand. I isolate the primary defensive hand. I can go ahead and just walk my hands. He's gonna go ahead and grab my hand, right? Why did, so just a, 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 a common question, why is he gonna grab my hand and not my wrist? Well, my wrist isn't what's choking, like it's not what's uh, making the choke effective. My hand being able to walk up and get my elbow deep is what's making it effective. So he's trying to prevent my elbow from getting deep by grabbing my thumb line, right? If you guys don't know, when you're defending a, a deep rear naked choke, grabbing the line of the thumb is the best place to start, not grabbing the arm. Does that make sense, guys? So when you defend a rear naked choke, you wanna grab the thumb. You don't wanna grab the arm, all right? So that's why he's gonna go ahead and grab the thumb, and as he pulls down, I use the momentum to do a quick uh, switch off, and then I step over, and I come in, all right? Now again, I go to choke, he's gonna defend, same thing. I come through, and I'm gonna create a blade with my hand. If he's keeping his chin down, that blade is gonna slowly walk behind, and now the big thing is I'm trying to get my fingers behind, uh, behind his shoulder blades, okay? I don't wanna be grabbing my own shoulder. He's gonna, if for some reason he rolls his hand out, he's gonna be able to grab my fingers and I'm gonna be kind of uh, screwed, right? So I wanna hide my fingers behind his back so that even if he gets his hand out, he can't really grab it, okay? Does that make sense, guys? So we're walking the hands, uh, the fingers behind his back, and not trying to grab our own shoulder or grab his shoulder, okay? If for some reason you guys uh, feel the need, and a couple of us were playing with it, feel the need to come to your elbow and start to shoot the, the rear naked choke, just know he's probably gonna grab your hand, all right? We're gonna have to build this first, where we punch the hand out, and then we shoot our hand behind the head. Now guys, the mechanics, again, is down and turning. Okay, I'm not just squeezing and pulling my partner's neck back. I'm going down with my elbow and turning into my partner's chin. All right, so you guys can go ahead and play with this. If for some reason uh, your partner's hand gets free and you start to attack your hand, you can get up to your elbow and now you're gonna punch the wrist 
And then you'll start the knife hand back, and then we'll finish down and over. You guys got it? All right, let's keep playing with it on three. One, two, three.